is Stitches TV and today I'm going to show you how to make a boring old t-shirt into a t-shirt with bustle at the back. So what we do is we get a regular t-shirt or two t-shirts and I've cut an arch at the front but you don't have to have an arch you can have it coming straight and with your leftover material and other bits of material you make this great bustle at the back. Here, I used a t-shirt that my boyfriend had. It had a printed shirt on it, but it was a really boring shape. So I've cut it up at the front, and this is the main part. You cut an arch in the back, and you essentially fill the arch with loads of scrappy pieces of leftover t-shirt. To make a t-shirt with a bustle, what you need is definitely a t-shirt that fits you and then you need another t-shirt in the same material unless you want it to contrast I've got another t-shirt in the same material which is a bigger t-shirt because I want it for the material and then I'm going to have a little bit of contrast in mine I've got this gorgeous grey silk fabric so I'm going to have that mixed in the bustle as well Right, so what you've got to do is you've got to lay out the t-shirt that fits you and what you have to do, you've got to cut an arch out of it. Now do you know what? I have been doing it to all of my t-shirts recently. Look! And Shaz, my sister, I showed her this tutorial and she's going to Sri Lanka next week and she made four of these tops in an evening and if she can do it, you can do it. So, I've cut this out. Now, you don't have to cut the front up in an arch. You don't have. You can have it just going straight, or you can have it so it's not such a high arch. I've just done it like that because I like the look of it. But the back, you definitely have to cut the back in an arch. Look, and I've actually cut my back higher than my front. And then basically, all we're going to do is using lots of different strips of the second t-shirt, the leftover fabrics from here and the silk. We do lots of different strips going at lots of different angles. Look, as you see here, we've got lots of different strips. And remember, when you put a rectangle into an arch, it always flounces out like this. So eventually, with all the material, it just bustles out. Right, now it's time to build the bustle. So, out of the um, t-shirt that I cut out before, I had some little pieces left over so I was able to get these two pieces out of it and then with the extra t-shirt or anything you want really that you think ties in with the project um, I've cut out some other pieces now these pieces my maths isn't very good are they called trapeziums I can't remember <laughs> I what they're know. called or parallelograms or rhombuses but anyway <laughs> they're just all different shapes and I've got two of each so I've got two four six eight and they're all going to be used for building up the bustle but I also want a little bit of silk as a contrast fabric Okay, so for this I'm using, this is pure silk, look, pure silk. But it could be an old scarf, or it doesn't have to be silk, it can be anything. Just contrast the fabric so it gives it a bit more depth. Now I'm going to give you a tree tip here. I want it to be raw edge, but when you have raw edge, it still has a stitch line along that raw edge, otherwise it's just going to fray forever. But it's really difficult to stitch really close to a raw edge. So basically what we do is we're going to stitch shapes. So I'm going to stitch a line like that, stitch a line like that, and then afterwards I'm going to cut it close to the line. That's a much easier way to do that. So I'm going to do that now on the sewing machine. So I've sewn that shape and I'm just going to cut really close to the edge because it's easier to do that than sew close to a raw edge. Right, they, they, they kind of look a bit uh, controlled, don't they, like this? But what happens is, when you wear it and when you wash it, these edges become sort of frayed and definitely when you wash it, and it looks much more distressed and, and more cool. Right, so what you need to do is find the centre back on your top by folding it over, holding it in the middle, and then putting one of those good old landmark notches in there. So I'm going to put a notch 
bit of a small notch actually because this is going to show isn't it like that in the center back of the top right so we've got the center notch there i'm just going to roughly measure the length of that arch that goes at the back so i'm just sort of roughly doing it because it's stretchy fabric anyway so that is 61. so to build the bustle at the back i've got my measurement which is 61 centimeters centimeters thank you <laughs> esther 61 centimeters so that's about 61 centimeters now the way that i do it is but you really don't have to do it this way i've got the longest pieces down first so they're going to fall at the back and then I just start building it up now it's supposed to look kind of random but I don't think there's such a thing as random there is a pattern to random so let's see how we get on so I think I'm going to put one of the silk ones on like that and then I'm going to put a raggedy one on top of that with the right side showing on top so I've got one of those on top as well it's quite good fun actually and then I'm going to put another silk on top of that one a bit off center oh me doing off center off center no i'm not because i don't like the look of it see i just can't handle it when it's not symmetrical now what you've got to do is this and this is actually a bit important i'm going to trim off so it's in line with that one underneath that i know was 61 trim off those bits trim off that bit there because that was our guide wasn't it that one was 61 and nicely put them on the floor and then have a look where the other one underneath is okay now you're going to cut through all of these you've got to cut through all of them so you have a nice cut line so making sure i'm going through all of them i'm going to do a really nice cut line like that I'm going all the way across I'm not sure I've gone through all of them there. It feels a bit too thin, but I can always check it. So let's have a look. It looks all right to me. Now I've got to locate the middle, okay? Remember our landmarks. So that is 61. No, it's not. It's longer than 61. Doesn't matter. We can trim it off. Look, we're going to trim it off. So trim it off there and trim it off on the other side. And now I can see where the centre is. 61. What's half of 61, Esther? 30, 30 and a half. half. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 30 and a half. So I'm going to put a sort of discreet notch there. Now, you've got to be really careful because you cannot move it. You're not going to use <laughs> pins, all right? But you cannot oh, move it. No, no pins. So very carefully holding the middle take it to the sewing machine and start to sew a stay stitch so how far in about a centimeter in okay so look see it didn't come apart okay because I think there's a bit of static with the um, jersey and they sort of stick together a little bit now when you do the other side this is a little bit tricky because you do need to turn it over but it'll be all right because if we've started past the middle there we've caught the ones on this side already so I'm going to hold it and carefully turn it over and then start sewing on the other side I'm just going to fiddle about a little bit now the great thing about the raw edge jersey is look you can do this look and it curls I love how it does that so you get even more depth out of it. So I'm going to curl all my raw edge bits by stretching them. So we're going to start, we're going to apply the bustle onto the top now. We need to match up our centre back notches. Centre back notch on the t-shirt, centre back notch on the bustle. Wrong sides together. Wrong sides together. So we get all the raw edges on the outside. So matching those two up like that no pins we do not need pins because it's going to be a short distance we're going to sew from the middle down to the edge and then do the same on the other side a little backwards and forwards now when we sew i want us to be in the well i want us to be in that stitch to try and stay in that stitch line that we did before now i've just realized that 
when you do the other side because you have to turn it over you can't see the stitch and I really do want it to be in the stitch so I'm going to take a risk but because it's stretchy fabric it's all right so I'm going to sew it this way round from the hem to that centre bit and I'm sure it's going to be fine good old shake look at that does that look good does that look good that looks brilliant and do you know what I like to do I, I like to put like a little label there at the back like I did on this one in a washing machine then they'll sort of distress themselves a bit because at the moment it's too like I've just cut it but what do you think? Shall I try it on? Is it a trying on moment, Esther? Yes, it is. All right, I'll try it on. So you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Because it looks really, really good. Are you going to be able to handle it? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful bustle. <laughs>